She's got race headers. Uh, it's got a new alternator on it for 800 bucks. I mean, would you buy this thing? What's up, YouTube? Hanging out at the shop. So, sad story. Trav and I were pulling a heavy equipment trailer because that's all we have access to, you know, as a flatbed to get cars home. And uh, truck was pulling away. Next thing I know, I see a bunch of smoke behind me and lost gears. Pulled over on the highway, get underneath it, and my transmission is dumping fluid out of this seal. So the seal right here popped right out. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's been replaced. This is the retainer. Um, these are all bent out. I think they may have replaced the seal at some point. Reused the retainer and it popped out. So we've got a new one on here. Uh, I think I still have a good tranny. It just dumped all its fluid and lost gears. The fluid was beautiful. Here's my torque converter. I mean, I still got fluid in there, so I don't think I torched it. I'm dead in the middle of this project. You can see our whole operation. We've got a strap to a come along. The come along was just pulling the car. Right now we're pulling out this center B pillar. And uh, we got a new front door. I told you in the other video, often a uh, V70, I believe it was. So door goes on, the gap looks good. And uh, we're just pulling on that until it latches good. And then we'll line up that rear door and hopefully have a pretty decent car for 900 bucks. Just went last night and picked up this. My brother-in-law works at a concrete company. There was a guy there, he had this bike and uh, he was trying to sell it for, I don't know, 3,500. I told him to go off from 2,500 and uh, we'll come pick it up. So he kind of worked on him for a little while and uh, the guy came down to 2,500. You can see it's got a stretch swing arm. It's a pretty clean bike. I remember when these bikes looked like this and they looked like real, you know, when I imagine a crotch rocket, this is what they look like to me. Now they're all pointy and I don't know, skinny and they look weird. I think this is a really good looking bike. It's a GSXR 1000. So it's not the 750. It's worth some money. It runs pretty good. Power commander on it. It's got a pipe. Uh, you can see the wiring with painter's tape. Uh, the power commander. So what happens is the headlight and the tail light flicker. So it's got a loose wire somewhere. I'm gonna go through this, get it running good. He approached me and said, hey, if I buy this thing for 2,500, uh, you fix it and sell it, we'll split the profits. I mean, that's pretty easy money for me. And I'm, I said, yeah. So I went and picked it up, but it's all around, it's a clean bike. It's got a nice rear tire, deep tread. Uh, the plastics or the fairings are actually in really good condition. They're not all scratched up. This tank looks like it could be rubbed out a little bit, but other than that, I mean, that's gonna clean up. These side fairings, the brakes look good. Front tires, somewhat new. He's got the windshield for it right here. So here's the windshield, needs to be rubbed out. The seat, um, looks like it's been sitting somewhere for a while. Cover, the rear seat cover. He also got a riding jacket and a helmet with it. So, I don't know. I haven't really worked on many bikes, but it'll be a new experience. And uh, hopefully make a little bit of money. I look online and the thousands are going from four grand and up. So we post this thing. It's about to be springtime, tax time. This thing's gonna sell. We just gotta make it run really good. Get the lights to stop blinking and uh, should make a couple bucks. I haven't even really looked this thing over. We went and got it, dropped it off at the shop, and uh, I'm just now getting here today to work on this tranny, so probably ought to get going on that. I really wanted to knock this out this weekend, but, you know, whenever you want to do something, something else happens. The cool part is, though, figuring out that this tranny has been either rebuilt or swapped. It shifted like a dream. 
I don't know what would have caused it to overheat and, and build that much pressure. Obviously the heavy trailer, it didn't like that. I knew it didn't like that from the gate. Uh, just getting on the highway, it was, she didn't like it. Uh, but yeah, the fluid pulled over. It was kind of a rainy day and the fluid was just sizzling when it hit the ground. So we got it home, pulled the tranny and I'm not exaggerating when I say the fluid was perfectly red. Looked like we had just poured it out of a Valvoline bottle. The fluid's wonderful on this. So I'm crossing my fingers, hoping I still have gears. We're going to put that seal in it, put it back in, and uh, see what it does. I think I still got gears. I just lost them because I lost fluid. So here we go. All the while I'm trying to get that done, I keep getting called home to show this. This is a Copart car that my dad bought. Hitting the rear, run and drive, brand new tires, 180K, 2011 Taurus. Um, I've had a couple people look at it. They're trying to get a super deal on it. It's posted at 39. Obviously, I'll take less. It's just going to take the right offer. And uh, same deal. If I sell it above 33, I keep what's left. So, you know, anybody wants me to sell their stuff, I'll do it as long as it's lucrative. And then we've got, you know, the car lot. My yard looks more like a car lot than the shop. No sale. Look at this lineup though. Oh man, love this driveway. We're gonna take the Yukon. Guy liked it, he wants to look at two more. He's buying it for his son apparently. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we sell it, maybe we don't. Back to the shop. Just put a tranny in this one about a week ago. So this one's doing all right. It's a little loud for the neighborhood, but Shifts good, drives good. I think now the blower motor just went out, so we're gonna have to fix that, which is weird because it worked perfect before the tranny went out. And then it sat for a month or two, but drives pretty good though. See you at the shop. Everybody, meet Trav. This is the up, partner guys? doing big things. This is his new project. Yes, sir. We were on our way to go pick up a BMW and God pretty much spoke and right after that we found this. What is this? An 04? 05. 05 Lancer. Rally art. So this is pretty cool. It's got either shift linkage problems or we got a gear in the tranny. Um, so playing with that. Brake booster. What's it? What is it? Just a soft pedal? Yeah, soft pedal, no stopping. No stopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he said be careful driving at home. But yeah, this is a pretty cool car. Yeah, buddy. If you want to see it, you're going to have to come back and see the sick addicts. We'll guide you to them. But it's super clean on the inside. It's about the best color you can get. Yeah. We're here spending our whole Saturday playing with it. We're supposed to be working on that, but we're not. We're working on our own stuff. Either way, you know, that's how it goes. All right, got the gasket on there with some goop. I'm going to let that set up a minute. Uh, these older T cases don't have studs like the 99 and up. So you've actually got to hold that transfer case there and get a bolt started. So I don't, we got to get this gasket at least sticking to it pretty good. So when we do get it up there, we can kind of fudge it around and fix it. Trav's over there buying parts. If he's standing at that computer, you know what he's doing. <laughs> the old truck. Man, and then, what did we buy for this thing? The good stuff. Can't, you know, go without that stuff. This literally rebuilds your whole transmission. You can say it's rebuilt when you put that in there. You can see, look at this, look at all this fluid. The whole underside of my truck looks like that. I think it dropped probably 10 quarts under there. Should have seen the smoke cloud. It was, it was something else. But what are your opinions? Right now, before we get this tranny all the way in, did we smoke the tranny when it dropped all its fluid? Or 
is it gonna work? Just replacing that front seal. It's gonna work. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm cheap enough to try. I don't really wanna buy an old, you know, buy a tranny, these older trucks, the trannies aren't as cheap as they are for the newer ones because they're not as plentiful. You know, the seal was cheap, but it did squirt out all its fluid. We did pull over right away as soon as I felt I had no gears and uh, got out with it running and it was just shooting fluid to the ground between the torque converter and the tranny. So I think it's gonna work. I think we've, I think we've nailed it. What do you think? Will I be doing this again in my near future? Considering we dug this thing out of a field, if you look down in here, you can see that nipple. That's what broke off and that's why it sat in the field for a couple years. Um, he went ahead and found a tree limb about the same size as the hole and hammered it in there, which didn't seal it. Honestly, the, the coolant found its way up the center of the stick and was coming out the top of it somehow. And it wasn't hollow. She's got race headers. Uh, it's got a new alternator on it. For 800 bucks. I mean, would you buy this thing? It's got the coolest Chevy front end ever made. Made from real tornadoes. And big thing, right here. This is my favorite part about it. Well, it's not ripped and it's got the work truck flooring. Either way, let me know. Is this thing going to run or will I be doing this again? We blew the transmission. Was it Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Monday. And we're going to have this thing back on the road by Sunday. Hopefully, if it works. Coolest part is, I went to the junkyard and I found a... Uh, diesel OBS Chevy and it had this four inch exhaust on it all the way back I mean it's it's awesome I got it all in one piece brought it home welded it right in with that Flowmaster and it couldn't have went in any easier and it's got all these clamps where I can separate it I don't know what brand it is but it sounds really really good you can see the coating on the frame. I should come in here, sandblast it. These coatings I'm learning are not good because they hold moisture and uh, it makes your frame worse. But overall, we are solid. There's no cracks, no real thin spots. You can look at my shock mounts up here. They look good. Uh, and it, it, mainly it's because it sat in that field for roughly two years so I mean anything that sits is gonna end up looking like this so I'm debating on trading this truck for something else because it bit me but I might just go ahead and buy these bottom panels with the quarters uh, buy some rockers for it I'm also thinking about you can go on eBay and they sell uh, pieces there like from here and you can just re-weld in that whole wheel arch there. Finish it out and just, you know, clean the truck up. It doesn't have to be pristine. It's not a SEMA truck. But if I can get it looking clean with no rust, you know, I don't mind driving this truck every day. I don't need a 2020. This, this one makes me happy. So I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to keep it. We'll see how it drives after this tranny job. All right, drive shafts are in. I've dumped half of a gallon into the truck already. Vice Grip Garage is smart. We're gonna rebuild the transmission real quick, as he says, and mix that with half a jug. Let that do its thing, we'll mix it up. I went ahead and got the good stuff, so. Just literally drop it on the floor and it didn't spill any because it's so thick <laughs> it's so satisfying it literally blows bubbles that is so weird I don't know why more fluid isn't like look at that bubble let's see if I can blow a good bubble yep. 
why they wouldn't just make fluid like this to begin with probably because things would last too long and they don't want that oh yeah it's definitely thicker the fluid that came out of the trans looked exactly like this it was perfectly clean red it smelled good um, I can definitely tell the transmission was rebuilt and, or swapped at some point. Um, the seal that blew out looked brand new. I think they reused the retainer clip that holds the seal in and uh, that's what popped off. The seal looked new, the retainer looked old and kind of bent up like they had tried to pry it off. So I'm hoping we have gears. We will see. She's got fluid. Let's see if it'll start. Look for leaks. Battery's probably dead. Close to it. Oh yeah, that exhaust isn't welded in yet. <laughs> we'll let that pump run real quick and circulate some fluid. I don't see anything squirting. Well, this is the part I don't like. Let's see if we got reverse or forward gears. Pump brakes, here we go. Oh my goodness, we got gears. We got good tranny gears. We'll just go back and forth through reverse to drive, let that pump do its work. Park. Of course, my gauge bezel stopped working. That's awesome. Man, it's wanting to work. I don't know, I think we gotta go drive this thing. Praise God, guys. Well, we don't know if it shifts yet. We know it goes forward and backwards, just not how fast. Let's check this fluid. I know it's a little bit early to check it, but I want to see where we're at. The lighting's gonna suck, I'm sorry. But it is what it is and kinda, for some reason my dash lights don't work. They did work, but then they stopped working. Oh yeah, she's got gears. We'll take this thing down the road. See if she shifts. Oh, it shifts like butter. You're just gonna have to believe me, guys, and listen to it. Maybe I can light the cab up a little bit. It's shifted. take it easy on it because I know I need more fluid sounds pretty good let's get back to the shop and check this fluid the fluids barely on the stick and I don't want to push it so 
We'll get some fluid, come back tomorrow. I will weld this exhaust in. It's just two butt welds. Easy, get those two arms in, the trailing arms. And hopefully we're back in business. I think that fixed it. It was a $15 seal. That was a lot of work for a $15 seal, but we got it. I'll come back tomorrow, I'll button this thing up, and uh, we'll take a ride. I'm back. It's Sunday. I want to check the fluid in this truck. It sat all night. We only put five quarts in it, so I brought seven more. I don't think I'll need them, but you know, I'd rather return some than have to go get more. Apparently, Dextron 6 is the stuff to use. Supersedes Dextron 3 or you know, I have no clue. I have no idea how transmission fluid works. And then we got to weld this exhaust in, but I don't want to do that because I got to put my bottom tranny cover on before I weld my exhaust. And I don't want to put that on unless I know this thing's going to be tip top. So let's get to checking fluid and testing this thing. Just took it for a ride down the road. I think it shifts maybe better than it did before. I ended up adding three and a half quarts today and uh, that was the issue. I knew it was because when it drained, it, it drained all of its fluid. And I think they said it takes 11 quarts. So I put five, I put about eight and a half into it, plus a quart of Lucas Transmission Rebuilder. Cause that stuff's amazing. I put that in everything. So right now I've got to put this on. When I bought the truck, it came without this. And I don't know why the torque converter is exposed. I knew I wanted to put that on there just to kind of protect it, but I bought this from the junkyard off of another truck. Actually, the truck I took the exhaust that's on this. Um, I came home, tried to put it on, but the exhaust was in the way. And that's when I realized that's why they left that off because they welded their exhaust in and couldn't get that on, so they ditched it. We're in a position where we can actually do that. Look underneath here, that's what it, I mean, looks like. So. All that's exposed. We'll get that cover on there, get it looking good. But I should have probably cleaned everything up. Look at the bottom. <laughs> it's a rusty turret is the way I'm gonna look at it. So you see my exhaust pipe to here. I just gotta put that cross pipe in. I'll put the bottom on, put that cross pipe in and uh, make sure everything's nice and zip tied out of the way like this weird thing here. When I bought it, this was sitting on the header and wires were getting torched, so I took that off and I had it zip tied to my lines here so that it wouldn't move. But yeah, she's back in. She's got rust proofing. We're good to go. Let's get that bottom piece on. Well, that's in. They must have different covers for different years because this bottom hole doesn't line up. I got this one here and the top one by the starter. This bar that came down here like this one was an inch past here and bottom hole on this side didn't line up but these two did. I'm gonna use it just because it's a cover. You can kind of see there's like a little gap right there. If I tighten it any tighter it's gonna push my oil pan over and possibly create a leak so I don't want to do that but I've got it on there so it won't rattle and it's got to be better than not having one so now I can get to working on this exhaust hopefully wrap this thing up today that's weird why would they make different covers if you know what this covers for let me know but basically 1995 5.7 you would think that would be the same cover all right she's moving on her own the exhaust is goober welded back together because it's pretty rusty, but it'll hold for now. I want to show you this fluid that came out of here. This is where the trans transmission and the transfer case were sitting. Just look how, like, look how nice that fluid was. That had to have been almost new. I think they did something with the transmission, replaced that seal, possibly didn't sink it far enough. Um, and it just blew out on me. So I'm gonna clean up and get out of here. Next we can take it down the road, see how it shifts. All right, it got too late. 
it's running good. I've driven it yesterday and today. Let's take it for a ride, see how it shifts. All right, it's getting dark already. Let's see how this thing shifts. The exhaust is actually sounding pretty good too. I didn't think I got it. I could have sworn that exhaust would have leaks. It was rusty, it did not want to weld together. I was in a hurry, didn't want to go buy any new pipe, and bend it up. So, you know, it is what it is. But it sounds great, I'm happy with it. Transmission shifts better than it did before. I have no idea how or why. Only replaced the seal, so it, I don't know. But I'm happy with it. It's running really good. So, if nothing else breaks, I'll be able to work on this Volvo. I'll be able to get something done. Make some money. We gotta flip this car. Just pulled the B pillar out on the Volvo today. I didn't film it. I'll bring you to the shop with me tomorrow. Show you what I got done with that. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Peace.